Hallelujah. Good evening, church. I just greeted everybody now. Good evening, church. All right, um, we are going to start in the next few minutes, but I'm going to need everyone to please help move from that direction and from the direction upstairs to this middle direction um, for production purposes too. Please, let's leave our seats and all cluster here. Thank you very much. Everybody here, please rise. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And please move over there. Everybody here, can you please rise? And can we also move over here? Thank you very much. Those that are up there, I still see you. Can we all come down and fill up this particular axis of the church? Thank you very much for understanding. All right, so please also put into consideration the COVID protocols. Look at the seats. The seats that say do not sit, please do not sit on those. And the ones that say do sit, please sit on those ones. And if that role is filled up, you can move to the next row. And if that is filled up, you can move to the next row. Yes, but please put in mind the COVID protocol rules on your seats. Thank you so much. All right. Um, for those that are up in the gallery, please, we will still need you to come down and fill up on this axis. So if they are done from this axis, please come down. Thank you very much. And please fill up this axis. Those up in the gallery, can you please rise? I, I'm literally talking to you guys, please. Can you please rise and come over here? Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry to disturb you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I still feel this is not Emerge 2021. The Bible says that the glory of the youth is in their strength. How many people came into service today with some strength? How many people came into service today to receive something definite? How many people came into service today with a knowing that they are not going back the same way that they have come in? If you are the one, I want you to give the Lord a shout of praise. Hallelujah! Okay, we're getting there, we're getting there. I want you to rise up on your feet. And look at your neighbor. This is Emerge 2021, the awakening. I want us to make some noise. Hallelujah. So welcome your neighbor. Say welcome to Emerge 2021. Welcome to the awakening. In case your neighbor is sleeping, tell your neighbor, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. You can even tell your neighbor your, no, your native language. If you are your robot, tell your neighbor, say, G, Masu, G, wake up, wake up. I don't know what it 
have come into the presence of the Lord. And one thing I realize about the presence of God is that you decide what you get out of it. You decide what you get out of the presence of God. You see, the woman with the issue of blood had the choice to become one of the crowd or to stand out. But she made up her mind. Everyone else might be touching power and not pulling power from it. But me, when I touch it, I pull. I pull to the extent that every sickness in my life has to give way. When I touch power, I pull. I pull to the extent that every dead thing in my life has to come alive. When I get near power, I pull. I don't behave like the crowd. I pull with an understanding. And I trust that there are some youths in the house this morning that I have come this evening that I have come to pull power. You did not leave your house to go back the same. News flash. If you came just because your friend invited you and you did not have a choice, I've got news for you. You are not going back the same way that you have come in here because we are sounding an alarm that there is a youth on the rising. There is an army of God that is arising and we are saying no more to the agenda of hell. We are sending notice to the hell. We are sending notice to devil that we are awake and we are taking our place as soldiers. We are taking our place in the army of God. We are awakening to who God has called us to. I want you to begin to pray in the Holy Ghost and say, God, I'm not going back the same way. I'm not going back the same way I've come. I'm receiving something definite. I'm receiving something tangible. The word that is coming this evening is coming for me in the name of Jesus. And in case you are watching online, there is no distance in the spirit. So you can say even in my living room, even in this traffic, something is getting awakening in my life. Even in this room that I'm watching, something is jump starting in my life. These dead bones are rising again. God said, can this dead bone live? He said, only you know. He said, now prophesy. I want you to open your mouth and begin to prophesy that every dead thing in your life will begin to reawaken. In the name of Jesus, dead spiritual life reawakening. Dead health reawakening. Dead prayer altar reawakening. Dead word altar reawakening. Eyes of understanding be enlightened. In the name of Jesus. Makatola boko shahadaya. Ikandala baka suta. Eyende genje gela bosa. We refuse to go back the same. We press in, we press in. We press in for fresh fire. We press in for fresh fire on our altars. Makatola branda gadaza. Eka zuzu zoba handa yada. Yaga jaga 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 na maso. Makika la baka zuzu berhande ya. Fresh strength. In the name of Jesus. Liba ka zuzu pakata ha. Strength in your inner man. Lambi ka zondo maso. Ele ke 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 for your touch. Heavenly Father, we give you glory. Blessed be your holy name. We declare in May 2021 opened in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. I want somebody to shout out, believe in amen. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. I lift my hands into the adoration to you. You reign on 
the throne for you I got thank God alone because of you my cloud today I got I can sing to you a song I just want to say that I love you more than anything I'm gonna be love Jesus I love you Jesus I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. I just want to say that I love you. I worship him. Raise your voice and sing. Then I love you, Jesus. I love
Jam your hands together for Jesus in the house today. Come on, clap those hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. Clap those hands together for Jesus. I need you to tell seven people. Say neighbor. Say neighbor. 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 I am emerging. Oh, you are not getting it. You are not getting it. Say I am emerging. Master, master of the 
Omo Jesu se gbadun o a gbadun o Listen, Jesus. In 2020, we became the sons of God. Glory. And right now, in 2021, we are becoming, we are awakening. Welcome to Emerge 2021, the reawakening. Hallelujah. Come on, chant those hands to get up the king. And the Lord of Lords, he's worthy, he's worthy, he's worthy. Amen, amen. Now this conference is going to take you to a new level in God. I mean, your life will be set ablaze for him in the name of Jesus. Now we have a whole lot packed together for you. And I believe God and miracles will take place in your life. By the time you are leaving this conference on Sunday, you will become a lightning bolt. And everywhere you go, you will lead everyone around you in the name of Jesus. 
Glory be to God. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, I'm excited to be here. Go to about five people and tell them I'm excited to be here. I mean about five people. Walk around a bit. Leave your space. Go meet somebody and tell them I'm excited to be here. Hallelujah. Hey. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Amen, amen. Are you ready? Ask your neighbor, neighbor, are you ready? Tell them, are you ready? Get a response. Get a response from them. Hallelujah. Put your hands together. As we introduce the production, amen. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Event 2021, The Reawakening! One, two. Engineer, please give me mid. Okay, give me soprano, sir. Guys, guys, are your mics working? Okay, drummer. Alpha, hey, alpha, hey. let's go. Ah! Oh. Push it. Ah! Oh. Yeah! Ah! Yeah. Ah! Oh, did you know me? I What the? What the? What the? What the? What the? One, two. One, hey, mic hey. check. One, Is two. your mic working? Yeah, 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 Engineer, yeah. bring this thing up now. Drama alpha. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go now. Ah, ah. Yeah. Come on. Hey, they be bad Why would you put my dad's cake on bike? Ha! Makati, ha, Makati, I will deal with you. Makati, I give you 20 minutes to get down here. Makati, oh dear mommy, oh. Emi tolani makanaki mani. Ha! Ha! Makati, you are trying me. Omo tolani? I named you Omo tolani. What is the meaning of eh? Makakini? Makanaki. Ha! What is the problem? Daddy, how dare that boy not bring your cake? My cake? Uh-uh. Help me ask her. Is it a cake? No. no. Ha. Is it your celebration? No. Oh, oh come and sit down. Uh, you see, I want you to do something for me right now. What is it? Go to my apartment. Hmm? There is money under my pillow. <laughs> and under that pillow... Once you take the one that you need, go and use it to order another cake. Hey! 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 Daddy, because you said so. 
Dad, you know me, man. <laughs> hey, but sorry, before I get to that, Dad, um, quickly, Dad, I need um, your keys, Dad. Uh, uh, my keys? Yeah, the keys to your beamer, Dad, your car. Keys? Oh, 2G. Going to apartment, eh? Eh? The keys, yeah. Take it. Ah, uh, you the man, Dad, you the man, Dad. I hope you're on your way to the party right now. Ah, uh, Dad, Dad, don't know, Dad. You see, Dad, your boy, I have to catch cruise, Dad. Ah, uh-uh. Catch cruise. What is the meaning of cash? Hey, he goes down with my cheese connect. Yeah, 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 yeah. No cheese connect. connect. Everybody say, I didn't catch cheese for you. Yeah, 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 yeah. You talk cheese connect. One time. Yeah, that's, you feeling that? that that's me. That, um, that I'll call you back later, that. I can't go now. I understand. Eh? Yeah. Do you call the phone on me? Ah. Okay. Mm. I will call this one. Call you. Uh-huh. Hello, you call Hello. Hello, Daddy. Aha. Daddy. How are you? Daddy, can you hear me? I can hear you loud and clear. Eh? Oh, oh, you go, why I'm are you market. not here at the party? Daddy, I'm at the market. I'm at the market. Ah. These people think they can cheat me. Ah. I order 25 pomo. Eh? 25 shaki. 25 abodi and areno. Oh. And these people want to cheat me. Oh. I am going to show them my true self. Oh, yeah, oh, oh you yeah, so oh, like this thing. Leave all those God things alone. No. That shack is too I... small. That shack is too small. Oh, you can leave all those things alone. Daddy, I, can I, I call you later? I'll you. call you later. I need you at the house. Ah. Eh? Oh, you can not drop the call on me again. Ah. Ah. It's okay. Is calling me again. <laughs> My guy. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Do- Dad. Tools. <laughs> Dad, is your boy Tunes again, you know. Uh-huh. Um, Dad, um, uh-huh. the last time I forgot to ask that. Um, uh-huh. See, I need your chains, Dad. My I need chains. your Rolex watch, uh-huh. and um, I need your rings too, Dad. Uh-huh. Wait, wait, wait. All your friends are here, and I put it on speaker. Uh-huh. Oh yeah. Uh-huh. What do you say you need? Uh, I need your chains, Dad. I need your Rolex watch and your rings, Dad. Uh-huh. What do you want to use all these things to do? Dad, come on, it's your boy Tunes, Dad. You see, my blinks have to blink, Dad. Ha! Say, hey, say, blink, 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 blink. I wanna have it all. Blink, 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 blink. I wanna have it all. Blink, 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 blink. I wanna have it all. Blink, 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 blink. I wanna have it all. Blink, blink, Come on. Come on. That's it, Dad. You know what's up, Dad? You can have it all, but ah, see, I need man. to have this conversation with you right now. Uh, that, um, it is see, um, very that, important to your destiny. I that, say, come. That there's, there's no problem. I'll, I'll, I'll call you back. That. Hello, Tuji. Tuji, ah. drop the call on me again. Ah. Yes. Ah. Well, don't worry. Tuji is catching cruise. Hmm? Omotolani is busy chasing cake. I know you can't so like is busy quick, counting 25 pieces of pomo. Okay. At least. Ah! <laughs> Finally! A son that will listen to the father's oh, conversation. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Why do you pretend like you're excited to see me? Oh, see? Of course I am excited to see you. Oh, come off it, Dad. Is it not because your other children are not available? That's why you are thinking of me right now. Oh, you know what happened? Eh? See, he is not happy because of the way I welcome him. Just see what I will do. <laughs> Pussy! No, 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 that, 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 that. Uh-uh. See, I came out to enjoy fresh air. Today is about you, so let it be about you. Leave me out of your activities. Pussy, what is the meaning of all this? Where is this coming from? What do you mean, what is the meaning of all of this? Do you care about me? Of course I care. Oh, Dad, come off it. 
But see, I love you. What a disgusting thing to come from your mouth. You love me. You love me and you sent me away. What manner of father sends a child away and calls it love? Send you away? I only sent him to the United States of America. <laughs> to the best country. Oh, that come off it. Uh-huh. Ah. Why does he mention America like it's the best thing to happen to anybody? Is there anybody in this room that has not been to America? He sent me to America. I was in his way. So he sent me away. Dad, please, I came to enjoy myself. For you to call your sister a trash. That your attitude stinks. Ben uh uh-uh. And how much is this money that you're even talking about? Ten million naira, hard earned money. Dad, just ten million naira. That is why you are making all this noise. Ah, oh, you call Sola. Hi, ah, your father. I will add five million naira to that money. That's not the idea, Dad. You hey. should be remorseful. You should be remorseful. No, Dad, no. Oh, really? Hey, oh, really? I just sorry, oh, John, oh, really? Follow me, follow me, pretty red. Emma! Pretty red, oh, yeah. Oh, really? Oh, really? Oh, really? Oh, really? I just sorry, oh, John, oh, really?
Dad, 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 where did you get these people from? Tunji. Dad, <laughs> Dad, it's tunes, first of all, it's tunes. These people are doing well. You are doing well, bro. I got money for you, bro. Tunji. <laughs> Dad, <laughs> Dad. Woo. <sighs> Dad. Um, the last time I called that, I forgot to add that uh, um, this shoe, I don't like it. I need more shoes. Hey, you know? To me like that you see uh -huh. i'm the first son of this family you do not talk to me like that what an excuse of a first son you are a disgrace in human form yes. you first son yes. watch son your mouth son yes. shut up your mouth watch your mouth Keep you know quiet. Watch your i respect I you spend the money here Will you know this you is a girl man you are a man you do not talk quiet. to me when i what do you think you are i said that is quiet. quiet but that you see this i said keep quiet ah 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 and you too. Look at them. Oh, oh you consola. You know what? I am no longer interested in your party. Hey, go daddy. It's, it's your birthday. birthday. We're gonna, We're gonna party like it's your birthday. birthday. We're gonna party like it's your birthday. We're gonna party like it's your birthday. Like it's your birthday. Like it's your birthday. Hey, it's your birthday. Well done. Hey. Uh -uh. hey. Daddy. It's not your bad day. Eh? Hey? Hey, what are you playing? Daddy, you it's your bad day. Ha! You cannot do this. I have called Minister Baba Tunde. I have invited Senator Pokola. My department in church. Your department in church. The choirs. The ushers. The prayer ministry. Daddy, I see Daddy. All that money. All that planning. My 10 million naira, daddy, go possible. Ha, ah, daddy. And importantly, I have invited the most reverend Oni Duromi. Ah, Oni Duromi, yes, This one that you people did has touched me at the place that is paining me now. Ha. Ah. Daddy. If I open my eyes and I close my eyes and I see that you people are still here, get up and one, two, three. All of you should have. Oh yeah, Afira, out of my compound. Uh, you are still ready. I say out of my compound. Hey, sorry, madam, my my brother. Hey, hello, hello. Even now you don't go away. I told every one of you to keep quiet. What is your daughter's fault? Keep quiet. Tunji, you are only concerned about what you can get from me. Anytime I call you to spend some quality time with you, you are so quick to give one excuse or the other as to why it is impossible. That you're running after all these things has affected your relationship with me. Ah, Tunji, only if you know that all that I have are yours. All I am asking, spend quality time with me. That's all. That's all. And you, you consola. The first child in this house. Uh -uh. Always carried away. Carried away by activities. I called you and guess what you are telling me? 25 pieces of pomo. 25 pieces of Aaron. 25 pieces of Shaki. The one that even pay me the most is when she mentioned 25 pieces of roundabout. Ah! Oh, ye consola. 
You are so carried away with all these activities that you have neglected that which is more important. And that is me. Oh. Or see. You are convinced that I do not love you because you have an idea of how I should love you. Abba. But I am your father, older and wiser than you. I best know, only I know the best way to express my love towards you. But wait, how can you even know the love I have for you when your heart is filled with so much hate and resentment towards me? Waiting patiently for all of you to grow up and take up responsibilities. My children, now is the time for you to wake up from your sleep. Knowing that rioting, drunkenness, strife, and envy. All this shows that you are asleep. Happy birthday. Ah. Don't you know that you should be like soldiers? Soldiers don't get entangled with the things of the world. They don't get entangled with civilian matters. You should be like soldiers and not be distracted by all these things. Ah. My children, Discipline is the key. This is a call for the awakening. Boy, forgive me, Lord. It's me all again. Forgive me, Lord. It's me all again. Tired of your will, regretful I stand. Oh, me again. Oh, oh, oh. oh me, oh Lord. many people were blessed by that uh, production oh come on you can do better than that how many people were blessed by that I don't know about you maybe maybe the collapse are a bit um, low because everybody's checking their hearts right you know but I think that it was a it was a beautiful call um, sometimes we get so focused on all the things uh, trying to do things for the God of the work. We do the work for God, but we forget the God of the work. The Bible talks about how Mary and Martha were trying to prepare for Jesus, and Martha was running everywhere, trying to get everything ready. And he would say that Mary chose the best part because she chose him. Really quickly, say, God, I choose you. God, 
you're all that matters. God, forgive me. God, I choose you. Amen. Well, really quickly, we're going to go into a time of worship um, before we go into the word for today. Um, oh, it's fake money. I was like, ah. Tunes was really spraying money, but it's fake money. Anyways. It's all right. Somebody will find random money. Say amen. amen. Ah. Your, your man showed me that you were not, you, you didn't really believe it. It was kind of like labored. You know, expectancy means expect to see. If you don't expect, you will not see. Let me try it again. Somebody will find random money. Yeah. Uh-huh. Father, let it be unto me according to your word. <laughs> amen. Amen, amen, amen. We're going to go into a time of worship. How many people believe that God is enough? Somebody say, God is enough. Be blessed as you listen. Do you have all this? Come, come. Don't be sad. I can do to let you down It doesn't take a trophy To make you smile I'll never be more loved Than I am right now If you know that God is more than enough, stand up on your feet and worship Him right now. If you know that He will do exceedingly, abundantly above. Going through a storm, but I won't go down. I hear your voice carrying the rhythm of the wind to call me out. You will cross an ocean. Closer than you are right now Shira, Shira. You are You are enough Shira. Shira. You are You are enough And I will be I will be content In every little circumstance In every circumstance Shira. You say forever enough, always enough, more than enough. Oh, forever, forever enough, always enough, more than enough. Forever, forever enough, always enough, more than enough. Forever, forever enough, always enough, more than. 
joy from the well of salvation. We are safe and we are healed in the name of Jesus. Understand that you are coming here today is intentional. You are not just coming to mark register. So for every, in fact, from, from the opening prayer, I'm sure we've been gleaning one thing or the other. And now we are about to introduce another specially prepared vessel from our God. And I please, I beg you, Really, maybe I'm not supposed to beg, but I have to beg you, be very attentive. And for everything that you have gleaned from the beginning, write it down. Make it plain. It will not just be another image. It will be a spectacular one in the name of Jesus. Please, let us listen to the wonderful prophet. Pastor Emisio Lua Owolabi is a minister of the gospel with multifaceted expressions as a pastor, strategist, author, counselor, and transformational leader. She is the president of Hope 365 Ministries, an organization that propagates hope daily through various mediums, including When Friends Pray and the Intercession and Revival Academy, IARA. With prior work experience in the banking industry and over 16 years as a corporate trainer, Emisi's expertise in strategy and corporate training is demonstrated through her role as a founder of Dream Meet Strategy and co-founder of the iNest Hub. Pastor Emisi has authored several books, including When Prayer Becomes a Lifestyle, Prayer Looks Good on You, Untold Stories, Life Lessons I Learned from Swimming, and Psalms by Emisi. Her works have earned her recognition by notable organizations including Y Niger, Leading Ladies Africa, and Mogulat Africa, where she was featured on the Church 100 Most Inspiring Women in Nigeria and 100 Most Inspiring Women in Africa. Emisio Lua co-pastors the Fountain of Life Church Hope Center Yaba with her husband and best friend Olumide Owolabi. Ladies and gentlemen, shout if you want to shout. <laughs> Pastor Emisio Owolabi. Celebrating Jesus, come on, celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. Can we give it to Jesus right about now? If you know you're excited to be alive today, come and celebrate Jesus. Who is deserving of your praise? Hey. Imagine you are to pay for breath that you take. How much are you going to be owing? Did you get that? Imagine you are to pray for the breath that you take. How much are you going to be owing? So if you know that God has been so good to you, can we celebrate Jesus once more? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who is ready to get awakened and reawaken? Who is ready to go and cash out everything God has given to us? The ones that slipped away, the ones that we are not aware of, the ones we are going to get aware of. Who is ready to lambano everything God is ready to do this week? Who is ready to take everything God has made available in the name of Jesus? Come on, celebrate Jesus once more. Hallelujah. With a standing ovation, can we celebrate our Father in the Lord? Pastor Taiwo Odukoya, come on. Is that how you want to celebrate your father in the Lord? Amen. Daddy, thank you so much for this great opportunity. I do not take it for granted. Thank you for the words you've spoken over my life. And um, thank you for saying yes to God. Maybe I will still be single today. Because you said yes to God, I met my husband in the Fountain of Life Church. So, I mean, that counts for something. Amen. But thank you so much, sir, for everything you do. Amen. I also want to appreciate all the pastors in the house. Thank you so much, Pastor Lara. Thank you so much, Pastor Femi, and all the pastors in the house, Pastor Bisoye, Pastor Toby. Can you just celebrate all the pastors? Come on. <laughs> Hallelujah. I want to celebrate all the members of the Fountain of Light Church, Hope Center. We love you. God bless you. All the other branches, God bless you. And of course, I want to celebrate my best friend, my beloved husband, my gift from God, specially wired and configured for me. You know, I just give God praise for you. Thank you for nurturing me. Thank you for, you know, contributing to the woman I am today. All right, I haven't done that. Who is ready to celebrate Jesus once more? Who is ready to give God praise? Come on, I can hear you. 
Oh, shalabaka lodobo shatabayada. Arise, people, arise. God is worthy of your praise. God is worthy of your worship. God is a good God that gives good gifts and is always in a good mood. God is a good God. He gives good gifts and is always, always in a good mood. Hallelujah. We give you all the praise. Glory to your name, Jesus. Oh, Shapayada Bakalodo Saya. I don't want to be the same again I will never return I've closed the door I will walk the path I'll run the race and I will never be the same I want to be where you are dwelling in your presence fisting at your table surrounded by your glory in your presence where do you want to be come on that's where I always want to be Oh, I just want to be I just want to be with you If you give me a reason Lord, I will praise you. And without a reason. Without a reason. Will you still praise Jesus? Come on. I will still you praise, praise you. If Yahweh gives you a miracle, will you praise him? If you give me a miracle. Yes, I will praise you. Without a miracle. What will you do without a miracle? I don't know, Shaliada. I will still praise you. For you are God alone. You are God. Is there any God like Him? Come on. You reign in majesty. Lord, you reign. to mean every words of those songs come on I wouldn't trade you for riches on We want to touch your grace So we can leave your days We want to see you We're not yet to see any man for you God We want to see you We want to know your way We want to touch your grace Hallelujah. How many of us are ready to rekindle the fire? I don't know. Is this how I really can't see from? But how many of us are re ready to rekindle the fire of God? 
Wow. When I was preparing, as I was about to step out of the house, the Lord gave me this word for someone. You used to born for God, or you had dreams, but you think it's too late, or you made some mistakes or wrong choices, or you don't think you have the drive anymore. Or maybe you are even born in so well, but you're thinking, is there more? And God is saying, there is more. It's a stir of the flame inside of you. Find that coal again. Find the coal again. 2 Timothy 1 verse 6. Can we quickly open to 2 Timothy 1 verse 6? I know you're still standing because we're going to pray. That's the first prayer we want to take. 2 Timothy 1 verse 6. It says, I'm writing to encourage you to fan into flame and rekindle the fire of the spiritual gift imparted to you when I lay hands on you. How many of you have seen coal before? I love what we have. This coal. God bless my mom. I don't know if she's in the house, but a big shout out to my mom. I love you so much, ma. But when we were growing up, at some point we used the coal. So what happened is, if you put the, the, the fuel on it, and you know the initial gra gra that coal, it, it, it comes alive. Amen? It comes alive like it's burning. And after a while, after you've cooked one time, You've cooked again. If you don't continue to find it, what does it do? It begins to go out. Now, the mistake is you will go there thinking there is no fire again. And you put your hand there, it probably will hurt you. But what you need to do is not put more fire on it. What do you need to do? You need to fan it. There are people in the house, God is saying that my gift is upon you are not dead. God is saying that the prophetic word that you receive from this altar over and over is not dead. God is saying that age is not a barrier when it comes to the things of the spirit. Because God is saying that, like Caleb said, I am stronger 80. Can you give me the land? Can you give me what is rightfully yours? I don't know if there are people that are saying tonight God, this weekend God I'm going to fan. I'm going to fan to flame those things I've seen in scripture. Those things I've read over and over again in scripture but I've not seen in my life. Lord Jesus I dare to believe you for more. Can you open your mouth as a church and let us pray over emerge? I said, Lord, we are fanning to flame. We are fanning to flame. It's not going to be a story of, oh, I used to do this. I used to fast for 10 years, for, for 10 days. I used to pray for one hour, but now you're strong. Come on. The revival fire is coming this night. It's coming all through the weekend. And again and again and again, this fire is burning. This fire is burning in the name of Jesus. We are coming alive. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name I prayed. You may be seated. Hallelujah. Can we celebrate Jesus? <laughs> Glory to God. When you hear the word reawakening, what comes to mind? You know, there's a difference between awakening and reawakening. Awakening is to bring to life. Awakening is to stir something. But when you say reawakening, you're saying, let us bring to life again. Meaning there's something that we're walking in and let us bring to life again. Let us start again. Let us make active again. Let us, let us see the ancient landmark again. Can you help me with the slide? I want to quickly show you some things. Let us, let us start again. Let us rekindle the fire. Let us kindle once again. Let us resurrect. I love this. Let us bring to life again. Who is ready to bring some things to life again? I don't know about you, but when I read some things in scripture, I'm like, I'm like God, do it again. Do it again, God. When I get testimonies, I'm like, God, do it again. Are you aware? Testimonies are like, like prophetic word. They have the power to repeat itself. He has the ability to repeat itself. So who's ready to say, God, do it again. Do it again, God. Do you want to see the blind see? God, do it again. Do you want to see the dead rise? Lord, do it again. Do you want to see a nation burning for the Lord? Do it again. Do you want to see Nigeria burning? Do it again. Do you want to see a church not filled with itself but filled with God? Lord, do it again. So when we say reawakening, it's quite different from awakening. Awakening. So God is saying to us, some things have already been done. All I need is individuals that are going to go to the core and stay there. You, you see, you will not just find it and walk away. You will stay there till you see the fire come back to life. You see, the thing is that sometimes there's something called importunity in prayer. When you stay till you see that which God has said. Hallelujah. God do it again. Are you ready? Tonight, I want to share briefly, and I hope we'll spend time to pray. The power of one reawakened man and the ripple effect of that man. The power of one person 
that is ready to sit with the coal and fan it. I'm hoping that tonight we'll have people that will say, God, I'm done telling stories of how in the days of our father. How many of you, in the days of our father, in the, in the days of our mother, in the days. How many of you are tired when I was on campus or when I used to be? When? We are done with those tales. We want to see it again. You see, the world will not bow to your English. It will bow to the power of God. The world will not bow to the idea of God you think you know or the reported speech of God that you receive or, or, the, or the Instagram post where you put a little hand of amen under it. The world is not going to bow to that. The world is looking for men and women that will stay at the altar and say, Lord, do it again. They are not in a hurry to go out and perform because they know that the revival starts with me first. Lord, do it again. Are there character defects? Lord, do it again. Fix me, oh God. Are there things in my life? Lord, do it again. Somebody say, God, do it again. Do it again. Let's go. Please keep going. So this is going to be my next slide, son. Maria Woodward Etta. Somebody say, God, do it again. This woman, in the, in the time when she was alive, they said they could not catch criminals anymore. You know why? They were giving their lives to Christ. You see, these women, these people, they don't know too much deep. Someone say depth. They don't have all those conganness, deepness, with all the five translations we have. You read a story and sometimes all they know is John 3.16. How will somebody preach John 3.16? Shut our eyes and if the all is filled with people want to give their life to Christ. So it's not just what we are saying but who we are. It's not just what we are saying or not saying but whom's we are. And what we are doing in the private place. I want to see our nation. Our nation will not turn back to God through rebellion. Our nation will not turn back to God through shouting. We need to see the power of God. And guess what? All God needs is a vessel. One person that I say, God, do it again. Next slide. Glory to God. John G. Lake. What do I want to say about this man? Next slide. It's false publicity too. You don't have to have it all together for God to do it again. You don't have to have the biggest platform for God to do it again. It can start from where you are. You see, God likes to show off. He will use the foolish thing of this world to confirm the wise. Say, somebody scream, do it again. Yeah. Next slide. You know, in the days of G John Gilly, there was an outbreak of Ebola in South Africa. You are aware. That was where we heard the story of he took his hand, put it in Ebola symptom, something, and the, the viruses were dying. You see, this is not an argument of whether we use masks or not, or not use masks. His Father Lord, as we continue to see the miracles in the church, let it expand out of the places some of you are waiting for the people with title to do it. Can I, can I shock you? God did not say that. It's only those with title that would do it. God is saying, everyone, I'll pour out my spirit on all flesh. It's not about title or no title. So come by and scream, God, do it again. Amen. Next slide. Glory to God. Smith Rigosworth, Amy McPherson. Now, I love Amy because not Hollywood will go to Amy's meetings to go and learn how to use props. They will go and learn how to do production in a meeting. Who says there is a limit on being a Christian? Who says that you can't influence the world? We don't have to be like the world to influence them. Ha. Somebody say, God, do it again. Next slide. Glory to God. William Seymour, a black man, partially blind. He probably cannot even, he couldn't speak good grammar. In fact, his own Bible school, he had to do it outside because he was black. But see what the Lord did. I have good news for us. Somebody say, good news. In 1906, there was a prophecy, William Seymour. How many of you have heard of the Azusa revival? And he said, in 100 years time, the Lord said there will be another re revival. What's that? Another reawakening. And guess when 100 years was due? 2016. So what is happening? So when the theme of this is reawakening, what's God saying? How many of you have seen all the birth pangs that we're experiencing? There are sparks of things happening all over the world. Why? The world is waiting for the manifestation of the sons and daughters of God. God, somebody say, do it again. Yeah. This guy, Assemblies of God Church, a lot of churches came out of these places. They didn't know all the things we know. They couldn't say all the things we can say. But guess what, guys? They were able to see results that many of us are still reading about. Next slide. Glory to God. Before you think, I'm only talking about pastors, Catherine Kuman. Next slide. Glory to God. So it's not only preaching. 
that is the situation. It's not only preaching that is the situation. It's even ideas, your business. God can use your business to transform the nation. Somebody say amen. amen. Next slide. Right, brothers, airplane. Can somebody pray, Father, I receive an idea that will be beyond the church. Let me explain. Even the atheists will board the plane. So God, what is that idea you want to do? Do you want to give to reawaken us in our generation? Glory to God. Next slide. Next slide. Hallelujah. Are we going to stop? Please just keep going. John D. Rockefeller. Talk about wealth till today. He's still speaking. Keep going. Keep going. Hallelujah. Can you stop here? Who is ready to say, God, do it again? Can I share a few things with us? You can take the slide off now. We'll be back to it because I want to leave us with a question. You know, when I read the theme, the, the, the theme scripture for this conference, it got me thinking. It got me thinking because what was being said, I mean, look, open your Bibles to Romans chapter 13 from verse 11. I've said that to reawakening me to birth again. To start again. So meaning it's not the first time that that thing is being done. So if we've had awakening, we've had several reawakening, what exactly is the situation? Why do we always regress? What is the situation? What is the lesson thing to learn? And it will be found in this question. Why do we want a reawakening? Why do we want a reawakening? In my own scripture, the title of this chapter is called Our Relationship to Civil Authorities. I don't know about you, but you are wondering, civil authorities, reawakening, what's the correlation? If you go to Romans 12, he was talking about the transforming power of God, the role of the, your proper role in the body of Christ, was talking about relationships. From Romans 11 to Romans 13, was talking about relationships. So our theme scripture, Romans 13, from verse 11, to live like this, is all the more urgent for time is running out. And you know it's a strategic hour in human history. It is time for us to wake up for our salvation is nearer than ever before. Night's darkness is dissolving away as a new day of destiny dawns. So we must once and for all strip away what is done in the shadow of darkness. Remove it away and once and for all clothe ourselves with the radiance of light as a weapon. We must live honorably, surrounded by the light of this new day, not in the darkness or drunkenness, not in promiscuity or sensuality, not even with argument or jealous or being jealous of others. Instead, fully immerse yourself into the Lord Jesus Christ, the anointed one, and don't waste even a moment thought on your former identity to awaken its selfish desire. Can I tell you this? One of the things that's plagued many generations it's, the fact, it's not that power doesn't come it's that we get in the way one of the things that plagued just a little deaf person as can hear in your meeting now your shoulder pad is high just a little you, you, you minister and maybe people, people fall under the anointing people come to meet you like you've blessed my life and then you, it stops at you but not directed back to the one that originated this idea of reawakening. He said, let us lay aside character issues, guys. So what is this scripture is telling us? You would think to tell you about reawakening, it will tell you fast 10 times. He would tell you, don't get me wrong, there's a place for that. But God is saying, much more than what you can do, let us be. And that was the drama we saw. Are you busy with the work of God that you've left the God of the work? And you know the funniest thing? You can be busy doing and the presence is lifted and you don't know. You know why? Many people, have, many of us, and God have mercy, have mastered the art, the dysfunction of ministering under closed heavens. But because the giftings are without repentance, if you've been in, if you've done ministry for a while, you, you know, the, the way maker, miracle worker, you splash it with a little, you are here yeah, moving in this place, you move it with a little thing, you know, and all of a sudden, it feels like things are happening. But you know what gets me scared? Matthew chapter 7. 
The Bible says from verse 23, 24, message translation. He said, at the end of the day, many will say, Lord, Lord, we cast out demon in your name. He said, we did God-sponsored project. Listen to me. God sponsored the project. And God said, get thee behind me. I don't know you. You only use me to get yourself important. You mean after all that we have done? You mean after all of this? He would say, go away. I don't know you. But you think that that is the desire of God. I want to show you. It's the love of God that is making God scream at the rooftop. It is time to reawaken. It is time to go back. What is the foundation of our Christianity that was handed over to us? Think about it. How old is Fountain of Life Church again? If you don't know it. Pastor J. Sorry, I have to call you. Remind me again, please. Even me right now. It's 20 something. 29. Uh -huh. For 29 years, someone has carried a vision. Birth a vision. Gone through so many things, but still standing. Do you know how many wildfire has happened in 28 years? Some people will come. You know, the idea is not for you to blow. The idea is for you to grow. Hear me? Because that blow, as you blow, that's how you come back. You, you spark, if it's Bob, blow, it's, that's over. It's just that moment of excitement. You cannot, go, you cannot want to carry an anointing you're not ready to grow into. You're not ready to grow into the process, what is required. So God is saying to us in the scripture, many has come before you. As a student of revival, I love to read this book. Some of them died heartbroken. There was a guy, Alexander, is it Alexander something? The guy actually thought it was Elijah. He thought he was a people. Guys, get, hear me well. The power reveals what is really inside. It's not the state that is making you act that way. It's just revealing what is inside. You know, how do I know? No matter how hard you step on a cockroach, it cannot bleed. Blood cannot come out of a cockroach. Why? It doesn't have capacity to bleed. So like David tonight, we need to say, search me, oh God. If there's any evil way in me. Is there anything that will hinder what I'm going to learn? Is there anything some of us we've gotten so used to it that we don't even know what is the right thing to do anymore? We're going to cry today, Lord, do it again. If you could use David after all the mess up and you could say, this is a man after my heart. That means there's something you are looking for is the heart, not performance. Can we drop the performance? We'll come before God. You know, a lot of us even talking about this situation. <laughs> Glory to God. You know, a lot of us even come before God. We're struggling. But the reason you, you want that struggle to stop is not because you don't want to hurt God. It's because you don't want to be caught. I'll say that again. There's a difference between remorse and repentance. You're struggling with anything. The reason why you want to stop or the reason why God to take it away is not so that you should not be caught. Because I tell people you don't want to be caught, but there's one catching you every day. Because he never sleeps nor slumber, so he's seeing you every day. But the fear of man is higher than the fear of God. That is why you think that until they expose you before you are caught. But you don't need to be exposed to be caught. Somebody said, do it again. Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody receiving this word this morning. So God is not afraid to pour his power out again. Hallelujah. God is never afraid. He's just looking for a vessel that will be like David, not a soul. You see, David said, Lord, do not cast your spirit away from me. You know why? He, he saw what it is like to, to he, he saw a king without the spirit of God. It was madness. He saw a king that functioned without the spirit of God. And he's like, God, I don't want that. Quickly, foundations for living and reawakening life. Some things I just thought about. Like, if you want to live, can I, can I tell you something, family? To live a reawakening life should not be an event. It should be everyday life. It's like recalibration. I can never forget the analogy. I don't know if it was Pastor Bisoye or Pastor Damien that said this. You cannot change the clock. You cannot change the battery of a clock except you put it down. You cannot change the engine of a car except you park it. Empty the engine oil and change it. So the first place God wants to reawaken tonight is you and I. Our hearts. You know what Pastor Jay was saying? Let's clap. We need to think about it. Are we busy doing for God and God? You, when was the last time you just spent time with God? If you prepare to preach because you have a message, that's not performance. 
After a while, you can't keep up. Because what I've noticed, a principle you teach that you're not living, after a while to tell. There is an anointing that comes upon ministering from the place of touching, doing, knowing, experiencing. And the one you teach that you are to catch up on, you are engaging it. There's something, there is a difference. After a while, people know. You know what the Lord told me? He said, let me see, go now the day to tell people, do what I say. This generation are not doing what we say anymore. They're saying, we do what you do. We are done, we've done what they've said for a long time and we can't see the results. Now we want to do what you do. Hallelujah. So one, number one foundation. What is your why for a reawakening life? The foundation, the bedrock of having a reawakening life all the rest of your life. Number one is, the, is love. Love. For God so loved the world that he gave. You know, sometimes we think we are the one that's trying to ginger God to help us reawaken. Well, God is the author of this reawakening, amen? And that is why we cannot run ahead of God. Somebody say amen. amen. That is why I know we say there's, I feel a, a, I, mean, I feel this urgency in the spirit, amen? I mean, you've said it, I mean, me, I feel this urgency in the spirit. Please, no matter how urgent it is, make sure the spirit of God is going ahead of you. So that you don't walk into error. Praise God. Number one, the love, love. And that is God's love. God's love will compel you. God's love will transform you. God's love will restrain you. God's love will wake you up. God's love will make you sit under the pruning hand of God. So my generation that love God is good, amen? Can you shout amen? God is good? Amen. God will give you good gifts? Amen. But guess what? Pruning is one of God's love language. God will prune you. Have you checked the vineyard? The pruning a vine goes through determines the, how sweet the grapes that will come from that vine will be. The more pruned you are, the more effective you become. And pruning is not once a year thing. Pruning is daily. As you're having that conversation, are you thinking, is God in it? Is God pleased? Am I representing God? As you're carrying out your job, believe, have you seen believers at the place of work? I was at an interview one day, and this auntie has been praying to God for a job. Ladies and gentlemen, she walked out of the interview eventually. And now she will say, I can't take it. And I was wondering. And I called the person, ah, P.I. And she said, ah, she's a Christian, she hasn't waited. I'm like, how do we represent God this way? All of us that we use office internet to download movie. 10 gig. That you, you, you come late to work. That, see, this reawakening, for a long time, we think reawakening is just tent meeting. Guess what? Reawakening is now you, the tent. You now the body, you are the temple of God. This is where God wants to start this reawakening. In your life, in you, your Monday to Friday, we, don't, we have to stop living a split life. You, the you on Sunday is different from you on Monday. And that is why when people want to walk with you, have to see, 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 see don't, don't forget what God, you, we can't have split lives anymore. If I want to ask, if I ask your maid, your driver, your cook, people around you, can they really attest that you're born again? You see, reawakening is not what happened only at conference. Reawakening is something that happens every day. Somebody needs to go to God and say, Father, start the reawakening in me. You know why? One reawakened Christian will change the world for God. One reawakened Christian. Praise God. Love. God's love. Loving God. Loving yourself. Loving your neighbors. That's the first foundation. You want to be reawakened. You want to meaning live a life that is of revival every day is the love of God. Amen. The next thing is understand that you're a son. Your identity. You see, brother, what's that one? Brother Chooks, one of the brothers, right? There was one that was angry that he sent me away. And I would liken that one to the brother that stayed back from the prodigal son. You know, some of us are doing God's work like, God, I'm doing this so I'm serving you so you can see that I'm the one that's really reawakening so you can love me. Can I tell you something? He has loved you with an everlasting love already. So everything you do must be response to love, not to gain love. If you don't understand this, you will think God is using you. you God, you don't see me, oh, God, I'm doing this so. You see, that's why I love Matthew chapter 3, the last verse in Matthew chapter 3. Praise God. The last verse in Matthew chapter 3. Matthew 3.17. He says, this is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. Guess what? Jesus has not raised the dead. 
He has not fed 5,000. He has not done anything. Can we celebrate God for loving us without performing? You don't need to prove to God. that You don't need to perform for God. And that is why, do not be eager by what people see you as, as, as against what God sees you as every day. Do not be conformed by what would they see reputation, reputation, what would they think me as, that's not important. Meaning, if they catch you on Wednesday, God can be rest assured, that is the version on Sunday they will find on Wednesday. Meaning you don't have to package, <laughs> for lack of a better word, with makeup or no makeup is the same you. You don't have to have selective honor, meaning it's only the pastors you greet. Pastor Jay, you're such a great man. Good morning, Pastor Jay. He came in from the same door. And just after Pastor Jay walked off, they all shall greet you. You don't even answer because that person is not valuable to you. That is not a reawakened believer. A reawakened believer knows no man by the flesh. A reawakened believer understands that, you know, I'm a son, so I must treat every other person as a son. That is why you don't celebrate people because of what you see them as. It's not, some of us, when people meet us, you know, the, after they introduce to us, they say, can you give me your handle? What do we do? We go and check. Have you, how many of you do this? When they send you a DM, I'm not, it, it, a lot of us are on this table. When they send you a DM, you, you, you check it. Are you checking with the eyes of the spirit? Say, Father, Lado Shapata, tell me who this person is. Oh, you're checking. Who is this person? Who he follow? Who is he coming from? How many followers it is? Where is he from? Where is he? And then that actually forms your person and how you greet them. I used to work in the bank and I remember one day a man came in because I was in commercial banking. So we don't do, you just walk in and say, I want to open an account. We, we, don't, we don't do that. But sometimes you have to do this so that your account can balance. Amen. So one man walked in. He wasn't proper. He wasn't dressed. Everybody just, I was there. I was there. We will be open accounts. Just like, that's when you were finding all the things to tap in your computer. And this guy just went to another of our colleagues. And this colleague opened the account. And he got one major account. The, when the man's money entered the account, the account do bang. Somebody say bang. The account felt it. That was something that would have changed our own balance sheets. But no, we know man by flesh. We size them up first to determine how well you will greet them. But God is looking for a generation. Because you know what? If David was like that, he would have overlooked the, the, the slave Egyptian on the way to go and recover all. The Lord just told David, recover or pursue. They didn't tell him that you will see a slave man. That means David must have been a generous man. He must be an honorable man. He must be a man that he doesn't need you to have on your faith important for him to treat you as important. David was, listen to me, they just carried all his family. So David was definitely under pressure to recover his family. But you see, the thing about him is a generosity. It's not what he does, it's who he is. So the moment David saw a man by the roadside, his nature could not overlook it. Though he has his needs, though he has his pain, though he has what he had to stop. I say, can I meet your need first? God is looking for people that will love people, not use people. Love people. You want to know why you want to know where God wanna go? Where people are. You want to know why people why God wanna go? Where people are. David stopped in his tracks, took care of the man. Where are you? Hayada Basukata. Do it again, God. Have I walked past Olo Remi? Do it again, God. Have I walked past the people that have the key to where I'm going again? God, do it again. I'm sorry, Lord, for knowing man after the flesh. And the same thing for people in ministry. You see some people, they wear bling bling. You think they are the, they are the one that God has sent to you. So your high we worship the Lord is same towards them. It's not necessary because that's how you are to everybody. But God is switching things up because that's not how God is. If that is how God is, he will not, pick, he will not have picked Peter. He will not have picked some people he picked. You think he, just, he won't go after the woman that has demon. Have you seen people that are following Jesus? <laughs> but Jesus served them before they served him. God is looking for men who will treat other people like sons. But it takes a son to show a son how to be a son. So God sent a son. It takes a son to show a son how to be a son. So God sent a son. And who is the son? Jesus. If you want to know how to live, just look at Jesus. That's what the Bible says. Looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith.
Don't tell me that's how it has become. If that's not how it's written, I'm not taking it. Don't tell me because people have married and have problems the first three years of marriage and I'm not talking down on them. Things happen. But don't begin to cheat your experience out of shame. Come on, be humble enough to say, I experienced this, but this is what Bible says. So go after what Bible says, not my experience. So if God is saying that we will heal the sick in the last day, I believe it. It doesn't matter how many times I pray for the sick and not coming back. I am not the healer. I will keep doing it. Do it again, God. Do it again. So you must know that you're a son. Glory to God. You must know that you're a son. If God had, if he had healed the sick, we'll say we need to heal 10 lepers, 10 blind men before you can become a son. Can't you thank God that you don't need to perform? I want to take the pressure off you. To reawaken doesn't mean you have to do. You do, do, do. Ah, God, see me go. You will burn out. So when God says rest, you can't rest. Because all your identity is tied to what you can do. You are not what you do. You are who you are. So the days that God, I remember when we started church, we come back and God had to teach me, Mama, it's not by, it's not the size of people, the short, it's, you're not what you do. So the day God tells you to sit down, you don't feel that you're losing out. So that's when God is promoting other people. You can sit down comfortably celebrating them because you know what? I am not what I do. I'm a son. It's just that another son is having his moment of elevation. I'm a son. It's just that another son is being promoted. I'm a son. Can somebody say, I'm a son. I'm a child of God. And when the devil comes to ask you, are you really the son of God? How can you be hungry and the son of God? You don't need to perform for the devil. I don't need to prove a point to any Anybody. I am a son. It doesn't matter what I'm going through. I am a son. Why? God says so. Let me give an instance. Pastor Bisoye. How do you know your name is Bisoye? Sir, they tell you. You saw birth certificate. How are you sure that thing is real? What has happened? They've called you Bisoye so much that you cannot not but help to believe that you are Bisoye. You have to believe that you're a son. Go into the Bible, read every day, fish. I am a son. Because that's the only way you can take the fullness of this reawakening. Because let me tell you something, as the Lord is leading us into a season of reawakening, people will do different things. We will all do the same thing. Some people will be deployed. Romans chapter 5, we have all been called into the ministry of reconciliation. Some have been deployed. Some will have two, five, ten. Regardless of what you have, guess what? You are a son. At the end of the day, the Lord is not going to look at me and say, according to Bissoye, add 10,000 following church. You, you add two. So because of that, you are failed. My God doesn't do that. He looks at you. He looks at what he has given to you. How well have you used what he has given to you? How well have you maximized what he has given to you? Have you grown? Not everybody will release album and win Dove Award. You are a son. Be excellent at what you do, but you're a son. The standard is not the success of another. The standard is Jesus. Can we celebrate Jesus? The third thing is hunger. For you to live a reawakened life, you have to be hungry. Hungry. And in the kingdom, can I tell you something? In the kingdom of God, in the, in the physical, you starve to feed. In the kingdom, you feed to be hungry. I'll take that again. In the physical, you starve. You have to be, you, you have to skip food to be hungry. Pastor Bissi and I can know what that means because the Lord is working on us in eating very well. See, you need to feed in the kingdom to be hungry. Meaning, the more you feed on the word, the more you are hungry. The more you see Jesus, the more you want to see Jesus. You cannot take break from praying and think praying will grow on you. No. You cannot take break from reading the word and think you will love reading the word. No. You cannot take break from doing the things of the spirit and you think you want to see the things of the spirit. But somebody has to open the Bible and say, Father, I saw it in your word. You say, in the last day, you'll pour out your spirit on all flesh. Where is it, God? I'm waiting on you for that. My last scripture, Luke chapter 18. So you have to be hungry. Matthew 5, Matthew 5 or 6. Be hungry. Be hungry to grow in the knowledge of who God is. Philippians chapter 3. Be hungry to know the promises available to you. Um, look at the scripture. Caleb went to Josh, Joshua and said, see, I think I forgot, the, uh, I skipped it out of my notes. There's a particular verse where Caleb was requesting his land from verse 6. He said, you promised me, this is the land God gave to me. Meaning, to live a real waking life, you don't know what is available. You cannot lay hold of it. You cannot revive what you don't know exists. You cannot revive what you don't know exists. So if you think in the kingdom you need to be poor, that's fine. That's what it's going to be. But if you understand that in the kingdom it became poor that may be rich, not so that I can fly the best things. God does not increase your standard of living so that you can increase your standard of spending. God increases your standard of living so you can increase your standard of giving. 
God will bless you. Say, Lord, I want to fund. There are people going back to school in the north. Lord, bless me to fund it. God can open more businesses to fund God's agenda. So listen to me. If you don't know what is available, you don't know what to pray for. And that's why you must stay in the word. What has God said is available is in this word. Sit on it. So this week, as all the ministers are coming, make sure, I say, when I say lambano, lambano is to lay hold of. Is to hold it and say, I'm not letting it go. Hallelujah. Kalobo shatabayada. Who is ready to say, God, do it again. Do it again. Never lose your wonder because of your age. So be hungry. Don't let your age disqualify you. Don't let your experiences disqualify you. I know of an 86-year-old woman in the Bible. When the Lord was going to announce the Messiah, the Lord told Simeon and, and um, the Lord told Simeon and this other lady. What's her name now? I can't remember. The Lord told Simeon that the Messiah is coming. Despite their age, the Lord told them that something was happening. So you can be a midwife for the younger generation. You, don't, you can enjoy what are the promises. Caleb went to say, these are the promises you gave to me. So regardless, you don't have, there's no Baba Saleh, there's no Godfather in Christianity, amen? We have fathers which we honor, but there's no, ah, my days are past. No. The Bible says in the last days, I'll pour out my spirit on all flesh. The sons, my daughters, the old, the young. So when the Lord is doing blessing, he's doing for all. Amen. Praise God. So after doing all of this, you are hungry. The fourth one is thanksgiving, faith, and prayer. That is the way you have foundation. Celebrate what God has done. Yes, you have not yet seen um, dead person rise. But you've seen, we've prayed for Edik and Edik has gone. Can we thank God for that? Yes. I remember one time, they called, they went to go and pray for somebody. Come back to life. Person not come back, person died. Two times that's happened. But guess what? I'm going to go back again. Yeah. Why? God, do it again. I am not the resurrector. I am not the healer. I'm just partnering with God. So I'll keep partnering with God to still I see God. Is it my faith? Is it whatever? I'll keep praying for this. Some people will never pray for the sick again. Oh my God. In fact, when I went that day, doctors, some of my friends were there, doctors looking at us. And initially, I was using school to pray. You know that prayer? You know when to know that we're really praying? And the Lord said to me, he said, what exactly is the problem? You, you are afraid that in case the person doesn't come back to life, you could ask, they didn't come see me. But what is the safety in faith? What is faith if you cannot be, dare to believe God, even if it makes you look stupid? Meaning, I will trust God. I didn't say foolishness. I didn't say, I, they say lion den, so I look for lion and enter there too. Faith is not proving that you are right. Faith is believing what God has said. Believing what God has said. So I had to comport myself and pray where. And the person, and I went with full joy, and my full chest out. Like, Father, Lord, we thank you. We pray this one, but I celebrate you for the courage to even go. I will go again. I will pray again. So what do I do? Celebrate the one God has done. Why are you trusting for the ones that will come? That is how we have reawakening. A grumbling generation cannot experience reawakening. Because like the leper, if you don't go back to thank him for his mercies, to thank him for what he has done, you will not see more. God said to them, were there not 10 people I prayed for? Those ones were healed, but that guy was made old. There are two different things. That one went with only pain. But when he went back to say thank you, he got much more than what he went for. Who is ready to say, Father, yes, I'm asking you to do it again, but I'm going to thank you for the days I didn't have money and you provided. I'm going to thank you for my business as, as open. Even though we, it looks like we're just surviving, I'm going to thank you again. So thank the Lord. I haven't done that. If you don't experience this real awakening, understand that where we started from is first our character. God is looking not to use people. I love what Pastor Jay said, and I say it a lot. Many of us are doing. Always pause. And now you will know. Is the moment they say not to do. You cannot, you don't know how to enjoy God if you're not doing. That's when you know that you are a doer alone. Because you have to do from a place of being. You don't be from doing. You are first, then you do. And that is why the devil will come to Jesus and say, prove that you are the son. I don't need to prove. And because guess what? I was telling you to turn stones to bread. Whereas God was going to feed 5,000. So it was not a case of the miracle, it was who was speaking. I don't listen to you. I don't need to prove a point that I'm anointed. I don't need to prove a point. I remember when our father in law said something once and I caught it. He said, There's a thin line between self promotion and testimony. I celebrate God. Is it really pointing to you? It's pointing to God. 
Nobody has beat the fame of Jesus. That's why all he was still pointing to the Father. He said, I, he always pointed to the Father. He's what my Father says. He's what my Father. That's why everybody have to focus on Father. Because this one, they say, let's make you king. Say, Mok, yeah. I'm not a king. I'm here to die. I'm not yet to be a king. He will, everything that, no, no, no. Is what I hear my Father. That is what God is looking for. A generation that will not want to share small glory. Just small. Just a little glory. Let me just say that. It's my prayer that did it. I know you prayed. There's something in that prayer. But when you turn it to say that is what you're doing, what I know about mercy is that there's no amount of your fasting and prayer that can pay for mercy. My husband said something one day. He said, some of us, when we, are, when we sin, there's a way we try to act. We'll be sad. I think we want to pay back until we feel a level of guilt. Like, you want to justify how you feel. Say, hey, now, I'm worthy of the mercy. No, 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 no. You stop beating yourself. You take the gift of mercy. And don't go and do it. Go and not sin no more. Hallelujah. Finally, brethren, I haven't done all. Remember you're a son. If it doesn't tie up together, know this. Is it possible? God is taking his time out of love. He's taking his time to grow me. He's taking his time to expand me. I thank God for some things that didn't happen when I wanted to. Because you would have crushed me. You would have destroyed me. I thank God for that. And finally, Luke chapter 18. Church, let's rise. Let's rise. Can you, play my, can you put my second slide? How many of you have received the word of God? Reawakening. The power of one reawakened man is the man that will know all of this foundation. Know the love of God. Know the message of God. Be thankful. Pray. Do all of these things. But yet, you are conscious of your character. When last did God correct you? I always ask this question. When last did God say, ah, ah, auntie, that is exaggeration. It's a little too much. Turn it down. Auntie, that's a little bit of pride. Calm down. And so you didn't have to say that. Some of what happened is because your title get bigger and get in the way, the moment God says something to you, you hide. But you know, the word of God is sharper than two edged sword. One side is to comfort you, one side is to prune you. So the word is as only telling you, sorry, baby, sorry, ah, hey, take a word in that. Have you read the letter in Revelation to the churches? God was speaking to people. Because guess what? It's the one he loves, he will correct. So God should be able to tell you that, ah, ah, auntie, if you continue this way, watch it. Remember one day God told me, he missed you, you must learn to show mercy. I said, but God, I'm mercy. He said, mm -mm. show it where. I said, God, what do you mean? Don't wait for them to come back and say, really, I'm, well, what I did, it was my fault. Don't wait for justification. Just give mercy. Luke 18. One day, Jesus taught the apostles to keep praying and never stop or lose hope. He shared with them this illustration in a certain town. There was a judge, a thick-skinned and godless man who had no fear of others' opinion. And there was a poor widow in the town who kept pleading with the judge, grant me justice and protect me. He ignored her pleas. Eventually he said, this widow keeps annoying me, demanding her rights. I'm tired of listening to her. Even though I'm not a religious man and I don't care about the opinions of others, I will get her off my back by answering her claim. Verse 6, the Lord said, did you hear what the ungodly judge said? That he would answer a persistent request. Do you know that God, the true judge, will grant justice to all his chosen one who cry out to him night and day? He will pour out the spirit upon them. He will not delay to answer you and give you what you ask for. God gives swift justice to those who don't give up. So those that want to see we are awakening, Ezekiel 37, I'm asking you tonight, can those dry bones live again? Those promises God gave you, can it come to pass? Those things you've read in scripture, can it come to pass? He says you will pray the effective prayer of what a righteous man availeth much. James chapter 5. The power of one, one reawakened man is the one that will stay with that call. Remember where I started from? Who is ready to fan this night and say, Father, Lord, whatever it takes, what are those promises? What have you seen in scripture? Every time I read James 5, I will cry. How many of us in Nigeria? One man, the voice of one man shot the entire nation, brought them to their knees of repentance. Lord, do it again. Do it again. Can I have the slide? Begin to pray in the Holy Ghost wherever you are. See, how can God compare himself to a, a wicked judge? He was trying to paint a picture. If one that doesn't care, just to get somebody off, that's the last foundation. Prayer will birth reawaken. When you see that your life is dragging, you, some of people say, I wish I can pray. You talk so much wishing you can pray. Just pray. I have not prayed for five days and you now feel bad the sixth day and you now think that it's by your talking for ten hours of how you have not prayed that will help you pray so when you feel you are not praying what do you do? open your mouth and what? pray and ask for grace to pray 
Pastor Nomti Odukoya. Keep going. I'm just going to be showing you slides of different people. Who, they are yes. They are being reawakened. These guys don't joke with their communion. Go ahead, just go ahead. Just go ahead. Act Bishop with Daosa. And you know the beautiful things. When we say mantles, I'm not saying something funny. Graces don't die. Graces don't die. We want to redig the well like Isaac. They redig the well of Abraham. Father, I heard what you did in the time of these people. Pastor brought these people years ago to church. Please keep going. Keep going. Ibuka Awashika. Keep going. Because of this guy, there's God's general. All this story I'm talking as if I was alive when Maria, I'm saying, when you say Maria would just enter in. Somebody dare to document. You might not be fluent, but can you write? The glitch that keeps giving. They said Paul did not know how to speak. Apollos could uh, speak. But God, maybe, maybe that was a glitch Paul needed to have. Because how many speech of Paul would we have? But we have the letters of Paul. So those things, those giftings you wish you had, focus on the one you have. Maybe that is what God needs you to have. Praise God. Develop those gifts. Moin Moin that lands in the uh, White House. Is that not still a mystery? Please go on. These people, they sang, I'm no longer a slave to fear. I am a but you know that this girl has a terminal disease and every time she ministers every time this lady ministers people that have that condition get healed it's one of the things that will make you want to stop the devil will tell you that you, you do, there's no miracle so there's no need to be reawakened I'm going to tell the devil it doesn't matter what I have I don't have I will drag myself to the throne of God I say Lord it is okay let's do this yes I'll keep trusting but I will keep birthing and doing what you want us to do we will not be an entitled generation a generation about me 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 prayer is not just for you prayer is to birth God's agenda on earth prayer is to partner with God Kalobo Shataba Pastor Tolu Joko. I wonder how she keeps doing. Praying every day on Instagram. I've seen her come back from work. You see, every awakened generation is one that will do, keep doing the assignments. You will keep showing up. Even when it's not convenient. Even when you don't feel like. You keep what? Showing up. Somebody say, God, do it again. Next slide. Nazario. How many of you know this guy? Always acting. I deliberately seek So it's not only people that we think it's about popularity. You don't have to be popular to be real wicked. There are people in your economy, people on your streets, in your environment that God wants to use you to set on fire. Next slide. AB. Amazing woman. Next slide. This guy does cake. And because we through his businesses, his blessing kingdom agenda. So who says that is God will not use your business? You don't have to have the mic. This is my tool of trade. Not trade, but this is my tool of calling. So if you don't need this mic, there's no need to eye, eye this mic. Find your own tool of assignment and let the Lord reawaken and use it for God. Alright? I'm not better off standing here than you that you're in the marketplace. We have all just been deployed to different places of assignment. Can somebody change that industry for God? Come on, move on. Tony, she clocked 40 years. You might not know her. As of the last time I checked, she has 80, 80 followers on Instagram. I post on the highest post like five. Why did I put her there? You don't need to be famous to be famous. You don't need to be famous to be famous to God. There are people. Let me quickly drop this here. You know, the Bible says that Elijah said, I'm tired. Don't be like that. I've done all the good things because you don't know what you're seeing yourself. Ah. Uh, Bible says, God said, I have 7,000 that have not bowed to bow. What are you saying? Then Elijah. Now think about this. God told us how he fed Elijah. One man. And it was miraculous. How did he feed 7,000? We don't know how he fed them. Oh. But guess what? It's not less of a miracle. Because we know of one and we don't know of another. Will you stop shortchanging yourself and say, I cannot reawaken. It's only for Pastor Jay. It's only for people that have buff. <laughs> Pastor Jay, I mean no disrespect. <laughs> what does this look? This is service for me. Maybe your own is to keep serving somebody. And people are telling you, why will you do your own? My own is to do the bid of the Father. And when they have deployed me to serve another, it's fine. Next. Just keep going. Somebody, now voiceover is sounding like a new, it has been there since. But look at what somebody is doing. Reawakening an industry. When I'm talking reawakening, I'm not just talking about tent meeting. I'm talking about industry, media, alternatives. Let's shake the world for Jesus through the anointing of God in your life. Nathaniel Basel, keep going. Keep going. Be so you calling. How she's grace to do what she do and money. The reason why we talk about money, you want to have money. She talks about money and you believe that you can have money. You just, you're empowered to create wealth when she talks about it. That is an anointing. Move on, please. Debola Dejikromi, amazing woman. Move on. Joyce Awashika, changing an industry that looks like can never be changed. Past my have you seen adverts? It's another, it's something else they're doing there. But God is raising people. Next. 
Of course. You don't have to be a pastor. You can be a pastor and be in the marketplace. And lastly, Pastor Taiwo Odukoya. Okay. So church, I ask you, are you ready to say, God, do it again? I'm going to take one minute. I want you to cry. Find your position. Say, Father, do it again. I've seen people you have used. Do it again. If you can use anybody, you can use it. Do it again. If you, I have, what do you have? Bring it before God. You think it's little. God says it's good enough. Do it again. Are you, have you been despising your gifts? Do it again. Say, Lord, do it again. Do it again. Use me, oh God. Use me, oh God, for your good. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again, do it again God. Do it again. Do it again. Amen. In Jesus' name. The other person the Lord gave when I was coming. So I said, there's somebody here. You, you, you truly want to do a lot of things for God. But life and responsibility is holding you back. God says, I should tell you, look unto Jesus. The author and the finish of your faith. The pain of that spouse. Maybe it's your marriage. Maybe it's your child. Maybe it's something. Trust God again. Can we lift our hands together? Up. And thank God for what he has done with Fountain of Life Church. Thank God for what he's going to do with this Emerge Conference. Thank the Lord for what he has started in your life. Can you celebrate yourself? I'm out of a state. Can you celebrate yourself right now? Thank God for the gift of you on the face of earth. Thank, I thank God I know you. I thank God I know you. Come on. There's nobody without. If God made you, there's something inside of you. Celebrate God for your journey. Now I want you to do something. Fountain of Life Church. What are we saying to God? We're going to scream, God, do it again. Are you ready? Are you ready? Listen, there is a grace in this house. It's, and it's a grace to start in the spirit and continue in the spirit. Some people start in the spirit and they don't continue in the spirit. If the Lord could hold our Father and the Lord and all the pastors, you know, and they could stand in faith. As I shout, fountain, you scream, do it again, Lord. Are you ready? As, sorry, as I shout, reawakening, you say, do it again. I don't want you to look around. You are asking the Lord for anointing, for grace, for the mantle, for the enablement, for vision, for sight to see, for healing, for transformation. Are you ready? Reawakening! Reawakening! Reawakening for the fountain of life, church. For you, my brothers and sisters, will it do it again? Will it do it again? Now celebrate the God that will do it again. The God that will never lie. The God that never sleeps. Come on, celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. Keep jamming those hands for the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. You can do better. You can do better. Hallelujah. Wow. I just feel the conference should continue. How many of you feel that way? I just feel like we should just continue. Amen. God bless you, Pastor Amy. See, awesome word. May the Lord continue to anoint you and fill you in Jesus' name. Amen. Um, quickly, um, Tomorrow is another power-packed day. How many of you are excited about this conference? This is just the starting. Shall just come to pour water on the ground. So tomorrow we'll be starting by 10 a.m. And um, we're going to be having great ministers. We'll be having Dunsi in the house tomorrow. We'll be having Pastor Midred in the house tomorrow. We'll be having you in the house tomorrow. They just say celebrate yourself. You are never there. You will be, we'll be having you in the house tomorrow. Amen. So you don't want to miss it. I want you to come on time, and it's going to be an awesome time in God's presence. Um, we're going to close right about now. But before we close, um, David will say something. I will not give unto the Lord that which will cost me a thing. Um, part of the things that she, she shared was about the love of God and one way to show that you love God is by giving unto him you can't give enough to God but it's also very important that you give to God giving will expand your living so it's something that we need to do so I want us to just stretch forth our hands into our pockets and bring out our offerings um and let us just lift it on to God this evening. Um, you, you may need to put the um, account numbers on the screen so that um, those of us who like to transfer can transfer. But I want you to lift up your offerings to God this um, evening. Having heard this word, I mean, recognizing that you are sons of God, the love of the Father, I want to just say, Lord, thank you for all that you have done for me. 
Thank you for who you have made me. Thank you for the great things you have done in my life. It's a time to be grateful to God. Thank him. Say, Lord, I am grateful. I know that I'm a work in progress. I know I'm getting better. I know you have established certain promises for me and I will walk in it. My time will definitely come. I will do the exploit to which you have called me to. But Lord, I give you this offering. Let this offering be a sweet smelling savour unto you this evening in the mighty name of Jesus. And Father, we ask that you receive our offerings, O God. We offer our hearts first to you and then we give our offerings to you. We say, Lord, let it be a sweet smelling savour before you. Even as we have come to your presence to honour you with our offerings and our tithe. We say, receive it this evening in the mighty name of Jesus. And take all the glory that is ascribed unto you. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. So you may give your offerings. Um, Time is fast spent. We're behind schedule. We're just going to share the grace in fellowship. Um, I don't think we'll do it in 316 way. So let's just share the grace. With the kind of um, message that is reflecting. Cannot be jumping up and down now. Just hold it. Just hold it like this. Just be walking like this. If you are leaving the hall, just be walking like this. So we know that, uh, yeah, amen. So let's share the grace in fellowship and may the grace of our Lord. Okay, um, we have our shirts outside, so you can book for your shirt. I think it's about 2,500 naira. Just meet Kevin outside to be able to book for your shirt. And please, let's come on time. We have formed the habit of coming late to church. Repent, that's part of the uh, reawakening. Service is 10 a.m. tomorrow, so please come around 10 a.m. tomorrow. Amen. And let's share the grace in fellowship. And may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. For the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set us free from the law of sin and death, and so sin shall not have dominion over us for the same spirit the same spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwells inside of us and has quickened our bodies to the glory of his holy name Amen God bless you see you tomorrow by 10am have a fantastic night